Clifton won. Nutties. Our project is about water. A spring that flows out of the hill behind school and flows through the ground before turning north to join first the Moy River and then the Tugela River entering the Indian Ocean north of Durban. We've decided to look at how water flowed through the school and see if there were any problems. We think the water should leave the school as clean as it arrived. Let's take a walk through the school and look for any problems. The spring rises in a pine forest. It is tunneled under a track and makes its way to a pond. At the moment, the pond is clogged but does have some fish. Above the pond, there are sports fields and there have steep banks running into into and off them. The banks have been worn away by water. The stream passes through a wood. There are lots of weeds that are being cleared. Another track across another track crosses the stream. This track is often difficult to cross because of mud. The horses have a small pond to drink from, but it is often dry. So we get lots of rain and mist in, in the Midlands. Where does it all go? The steep banks and tarmac roads make water flow quickly through the school grounds. This causes flooding above the riding centre and on sports pitches it also wears the banks down quickly. We decided to research how to slow down the rainwater. Having identified our problem, we used the code, coding problem solving loop of define, prepare, try, reflect to consider the solution. Making sure water was clean leaving the school and our soil is free from erosion and alive with little creatures not only helps our school community but others downstream of us. We need a better map of the school so we, can, we could mark problems. For that we all learned how to use open street maps and field papers to identify and mark future features on the ground with our new mapping skills we contributed to humanitarian open street map cyclone idea re relief work a friend of our teacher kindly flew a drone serve to give us an even better picture of the school from above this allows us to measure and define area. Slowing down water gives it more time to soak into the ground and reduces flash floods. You can put physical barriers on slopes such, it, such as logs, but must be careful not to create dams. A better thing to do that improves the sto soil as well as growing plants from South Africa. These are known as indigenous plants. Local plants have often have longer roots that help send water deeper into the ground instead of flowing quickly past longer longer roots then help recharge the underground water system the underground water is called aquifer if the ground can soak up lots of water it makes more it makes more to release slowly after the rain has finished Long roots not only take water deeper into the ground, but are, are a way for the plants to find more food. They also are a place for many tiny animals and fungus, fungus to grow. The very top layer of the soil is called topsoil. Plants with long roots stop topsoil being washed away. This topsoil slits rivers, making them brown. The very best thing that long roots do is capture carbon. We have several areas that we can improve. The, we can improve. The banks should be planted with local plants to stop them eroding. It might also look nice. We should make sure that the banks of, of the stream are clear of weed and rubbish. The next step is to take our findings to the headmaster and then look at any changes. 